When your team makes it to the NBA Finals, it's a big deal, especially in a town like Oakland, where they've been waiting a long time to see the Golden State Warriors win. So we went to Oakland, and we asked people on the street, people who claim to be Warriors fans, about a bunch of fake players, fake strategies, <laughs> and other fake stuff we made up. Everything we mentioned was made up, but that didn't stop people from sharing their very real opinions in this special Warriors edition of Lie Witness News. Your name, sir? Kern Brown. Uh, clearly a Warriors fan. Clearly, <laughs> yes. Favorite player? Uh, Curry. Curry? Do you think the Cavs losing Zayn Malik will affect the Cavs' One Direction defense? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not at all? Not at all, no. I mean, is One Direction going to be the same without without him? Uh, I, I think it will be, yes. Think it'll be OK? Yes, yes. Warriors all day! Do you think the Warriors are going to start L. Ron Hubbard? No. Not, in my personal opinion, no. Why is that? He don't seem like he, he, he does well under pressure. Now, do you feel that uh, Stevie Nicks will finally be able to take down Lindsey Buckingham? Well, it's a possibility. It's a possibility? It's a possibility. How? Well, just with the strength, his strength and his experience. So who do you feel stronger, Stevie Nicks or Lindsey Buckingham? Uh, CB Nicks. CB Nicks. LeBron stunned the world today when he announced that he'll be changing his name to Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Now, what was your reaction to that news? I was surprised. I thought I thought he wanted to stay LeBron. I mean, do you think it's a good idea to change his name to Michael Jordan? Well, marketing, yeah. I mean, where were you when you heard this? Uh, I was I was sitting at home watching TV and I seen it. I was shocked to see that. I'm gonna name some players and yeah, then you just give me how you feel about them one to ten, how they're gonna do. Okay. So, LeBron? Uh, I'd say nine. Kyrie Irving? Seven. Iman Struper? Uh, uh, seven. Uh, Malcolm Jamal Warner? <laughs> Six. Overall, have you been happy with the performance of the Warriors coach, Hugh Wayne? Of course. They made a lot of turnarounds. They were kind of in the backstairs for a while. Now they're he keeps noise. growing as, yeah. a, as a coach. Progression is, you know, changes progression. Is it possible for the Warriors to penetrate Cleveland's tri-tip defense? Yeah, because, I mean, really, nobody can run around and chase Steph or Clay, even in the transition. There, nobody's going to catch him, and it's going to go in all the time. I mean, should the Warriors use uh, A1 on them? Yeah, we should, that's how we should start. We should start it by A1 and end it, and just end it in four. Like, let's just go home. What do you think of the new finals rule where one white guy has to be on the court for each team at all times? Are you serious? You're lying to me. <laughs> I am lying, sir, and I, I apologize, Reverend Jackson. <laughs> How the hell did that happen? Oh, Reverend Jesse Jackson is <laughs> hanging out in parking lots now, I guess. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks for watching. It means a lot to me. And if you'd like to take our relationship to the next level, click the subscribe button below. I'll wait for you.